welcome to Wednesday. Uh, the only thing I really want to talk about today is something that I got at work today. Uh, it came off the truck, and I saw it, and I was just very surprised. We got some Mr. Beast stuff, specifically these chocolate chip cookies. And, and I tried some earlier, and they're really good. I love that the serving size is only two cookies, but uh, I ate more than that today. In fact, I'm probably going to have more. I'm probably going to open this in a minute. But I've only ever seen it at, like, Walmart, sometimes Target. I've never seen it anywhere else. So I'm, I'm very excited to have these because that leads the possibility of getting other stuff from, from the Feastables brand, which is exciting. Granted, I'm happy with these cookies because they're very good. But, um, it was just very surprising to see. Another nudes. Vlog is done. Another Xenoblade VOD is done. So those will be coming soon. I made myself a thing. And now I didn't think this through, so now I have to try to get this on the plate one-handed. Without spilling anything. Okay, that is hot. So this is, um, cheddar cheese flavored instant yakisoba by, um, Maruchan brand, I think. And it is honestly my favorite, <laughs> um, out of all of the flavors that they have, because uh, it tastes, it, it sounds like it should be terrible, but it actually tastes really good. Um... And so it's my favorite. But it's very hard to find. And when you do find it, it is, uh, expensive. So I used to get these at work for $1.25. And then I haven't seen it since November. And then I happened to be in Five Below one day. And, um... Lo and behold, they have two, only two, of of these little uh, packet bowl things, and that's all they have. So I buy the last two. Uh, so while I'm eating the first one the other day, I'm looking it up and oh, they're at Walmart. Okay, how much are they going for? Pack of eight. Okay, that's a full case. Oh, eighteen dollars. That doesn't sound terrible. How much would it have been if I bought them at work? Ten dollars. It was almost double the price that it should have been. And that makes me sad. Because it is my favorite. And I want to be able to eat it more. But I can't. Because I can't ever find it. And when I do, it's too expensive. Anyway, my poor eating habits is not what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to show you this. <clears throat> this is the YouTube studio for the VOD channel. And as I've shown it before, we have the start of Xenoblade coming up here on May 1st. But if we scroll up, you'll see that I have a lot of them done, including the final part of the story. That's something I've been uh, taking care of in the background. I've like mentioned it in passing not even in passing, but I've, I've mentioned it here and there. Um, and I finally got the story done, which was my main goal. Um, the real, how do I put this? My goal was to get every one of them done up until the, um, end of the story, and have them scheduled before I leave for the trip next month. And because I got that done, everything I do in addition to that is just bonus. <laughs> Which there are still a few left of the base game, and then uh, seven of Torna, and one of New Game Plus. So those will be coming soon, and I'm just excited to have those done. Because like I said, I want to I'm trying to get through all of the 
past VODs that still need to go up on the VOD channel. And the sooner I get that done, that's one less thing I have to worry about. So I did a thing. And that thing is uh, I scheduled the first few Pikmin 2 episodes. Now you might be wondering, oh wow, you're already working on those? Yes. They're already, uh, I already had four of them already ready, and now I'm just preparing the VODs. So I'm like, let me see if I can get Please going too. I'm gonna be a little greedy. And honestly, being a little greedy is not a bad thing in this case, because Please, not for nothing, tends to do better than the VOD channel significantly. So trying to put out videos on the plays, not a bad idea. Um, so I had the first few done and gonna start working on the next few here soon, which is good because if I could keep those moving too, that'd be great. Um, obviously the sooner I get through them, the better because it's a lot less space being taken up on my hard drive. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, with the VODs scheduled way in advance, and the vlog staying up to date, as far as it has so far, we should be, uh, it, it, I put a lot more time into the vlogs and lately the VODs than anything else. And so I'm like, I think it's time to finally give Place some more love. So we're giving Place some more love. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Saturday. So I have come to a realization. I have still some old Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies VODs that I never put out. So I was going through all of my old footage, right? And being like, oh, this is what I have left of, of old VODs that still need to come out. So now I'm like, oh, hmm, I still have this old zombie stuff. Let me see if I could squeeze that in somewhere. Maybe we can watch one for old time's sake while we're <laughs> all together. Probably won't happen, but worth trying anyway. But I'm, I'm excited to have this fully done because I uh, sat down and got the four remaining ones, their thumbnails ready, them scheduled, tagged, all the metadata, and now they're scheduled. So starting May 1st, we're gonna start releasing the Xenoblade 2 VODs, which that's gonna take forever. Uh, but then I have a couple of uh, uh, Zombies VODs mixed in. I'm gonna see if I could try to get some of the Pikmin 2 VODs ready to go and squeeze those in too, since that's starting to release on the plays. And then beyond that, um, once the final part of the main story comes out for uh, Xenoblade 2, I could do Torna, I could do Future Connected, I could do Sunshine. So I have options. And then obviously, once I'm fully caught up, it's just release VOD shortly after the stream. So, yeah. <laughs> definitely making good strides. I'm definitely uh, happy with this turn of events. But, I miss playing games with the guys. <laughs> and, and looking back on these zombies VODs have like, shown me that. Like, how, in, how like deep that is. I'm like, shit. Thankfully, I have some, like, recorded things that we've played that I can go through, edit, and put out, but I definitely, um, I definitely miss playing with the guys. Should try to put something together. So, I'm sure you've noticed, um, here on the vlog, I record in 4K. You're probably watching this. At least in 1080p, I would assume, because it seems to be like the most common um, resolution for YouTube to default to. Uh, but you probably noticed that my hair looks a bit bad. <laughs> um, 
It's because it's hot and I'm sweating a lot. <laughs> um, uh, today reached up to 80 degrees. And some of you might be saying, oh, that's not that bad. And I get it. Some people have like much higher temperatures where they live, but 80 degrees plus high humidity leads to a lot of sweat for the Vinny. <laughs> so I, I, I've been sweating a lot. And honestly, if it, it looks like it's gonna stay in these higher temperatures. So I'm, I'm very seriously thinking, oh, I should pull out my shorts and wear those to work so I'm not sweating my balls off. So, mm -hmm. definitely worth uh, considering if it's gonna stay this hot. And I was just bringing the garbage out, and yeah, no, mm -hmm. hot. So, definitely, uh, definitely a bit on the, uh, oh, I guess it's time kind of thing. Which, either way, I need to buy more shorts because some of them are starting to tear, and I don't have. A person to bring it to and there's nobody trustworthy nearby or no shops trustworthy nearby to bring it to so I'm I might just have to buy new shorts and that sucks because clothes get expensive very quickly so I'm gonna I'm gonna try looking into that and see what I can find if I can find anything that I'm like happy with Hello and welcome to Monday. So I started to do a thing today because with the trip coming up, we were thinking about potentially doing some kind of stream. Um, I started setting up OBS on my laptop, my MacBook, and I'm still missing a few things. Right now I only have the background, the borders here and the built-in webcam. But, um, I will still also need, potentially, the start screen, the end screen, the ability to play music, which I do have a few ideas of what I want to play. Um, but we still need to, like, sit down and, like, figure out what we would want to do, and if we're even going to have time. But I figure it's better to have it set up, just in case, and not need it, than um, want to do it and not be able to because I don't have everything set up. So I'm trying to do this preemptively because it just seems like it would be a good idea. <laughs> but, um, when we get there, we'll, we'll know whether we're going to have time or not. And it is, I don't even know how good of a streaming device this laptop is. So I'm also going to want to try to test that sometime but I don't really know when that's going to happen. But we'll find out. <laughs> From what I can tell, it's probably fine. Maybe not like full like quality. Not the full like heavy duty settings that I try to use on my actual computer. But it should get the job done for we're in a hotel room. We wanted to work. We wanted to play something. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And I'll try to put the rest of it together Wednesday, maybe? After after work? We'll see. I'll, I'll figure it out. Hi. Welcome to Tuesday. Um, should, is it out by now? I don't think it's out yet. By the time you get this, it won't be out yet. But... Uh, I did a stream today, and it's coming to, to the VOD channel pretty much right away. Uh, I played more Spider-Man 2, finally. <laughs> I played it once in October, right when the game released. And that was the only time I've played it so far, till today. Uh, and I'm really enjoying the game. Uh, I definitely wish I had more time to play it, because I would have loved to have just kept going. Because I love Spider-Man as a concept. I loved the first game, I loved Miles Morales, and I'm loving this one. And I kind of knew that I would love this one, because, you know, I, I really like Spider-Man. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but I definitely, um, it definitely is a thing of, like, it's unfortunate that I don't have more time to play because I would love to play. So I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. And I got to... I got to a mission where we get attacked in the foundation building. That should tell with minimal spoilers where in the story I am. <laughs> uh, but that was like the last thing that I remember hitting story beat wise, uh, which is very... According to how long to beat the game is about 17-ish hours, and I've now played about eight. So I'm roughly halfway through. So I don't have a ton of game left, I probably two more streams, but I could definitely make it three because I can, um, I, I definitely want to do some more of the side stuff. It's just, like I said, a matter of finding the time to play. And if I could keep the Tuesday streams going, which I should be able to because I've been fairly consistently getting Tuesday off from work, uh, I'll definitely have a good <laughs> chance of finishing the stream before the trip, or the game before the trip. Uh, the only thing I'm not sure of is that last Tuesday, the day before I go. I don't know if I'm going to be working that day because I just don't know because I don't know what my week is going to look like there when I, um, because it's, that's the week of the trip. I'll find out. In any case, I'm really enjoying the game and I hope you check out the, um, the, the, the VOD when it comes out. These, these come out around 2.45, so in about two hours and 15 minutes or so, it should be out, but I'll link it in the description so that when it does come out, it'll, um, you'll be able to just jump right over to it. But, um, that's all I can really think of, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one, and I'll see you next week.